Chicago, we're going to raise hell down here in the state of Illinois building. We're gathered here today with a clear and ambitious mission for a solemn goal of maintaining a vision that was set by the founders of America. We stand against state infringement, against the right to bear arms. But this is not a new type of movement. This is something that has been going on since before time began. It was Marcus Tilius Cicero, the philosopher in Rome, B.C., who said that civilized people are taught by logic, barbarians by necessity, communities by tradition. They learn that they have to defend their own bodies and persons and lives from violence of any and every kind by all means within their power, by any means necessary. He sounded like Malcolm X. Ladies and gentlemen, the state of Illinois and the city of Chicago are using public policies like gun control and gun registration and no right to carry in the name of a false sense of security and all of our lives are at risk. Today, we issue a warning shot heard around the world to these public policy makers in City Hall, in Springfield, and at Cook County. We're patriots, and I think that Malcolm X actually said it best in 1964. He said we are pers persuaded that the Charter of the United Nations and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the Constitution of the United States, and the Bill of Rights are principles in which we believe and that these documents, if put into practice, represent the essence of mankind's hopes and good intentions. We're here today with high hopes and great intentions, but we realize that we have to be a movement. We have to stand firm. We're asking that you arm yourselves with organization by supporting the organizations that you find here. There's many fine organizations that have tables with literature. Support these organizations. Arm yourself with organization. With organization, we can collectively show the willy-nilly politicians, show the scaredy cat politicians that it's not guns that are endangering people. It's the lack of access to guns that are killing the children in Chicago. We want to respect the Constitution and the right to bear arms. We want to respect individual freedom and liberty for God-fearing Americans. Today we stand united, black, white, Hispanic. Let's fire the warning shot heard around the world. Let the state of Illinois know daily's gun control plans backed by all blacks in the state Senate and state house have failed miserably. 509 gun fatalities in 2008 40 public school kids this year, including Chastity Turner, age 9. We must not forget Demone Stavsbury, Shannon Wilson, Marcelino Rivera, Demetrius Tyson, Quincy Chains, Randall Ewing, and Justin Grover, killed on June 1st in one 24-hour period. Today, let's tell the city of Chicago, the city council, that reducing the legal supply of firearms fails to reduce the illegal supply of firearms used to create and commit violent crimes. <laughs> then let's tell the state legislators on the south side, on the west side, and the congressional delegations in the city of Chicago, so famous for embracing nonviolence and joining ministers and begging gangs to stop shooting as they pass laws to make it easier to sue gun manufacturers, fire the warning shot. Tell them to pass the right to carry law in Illinois. Tell them with right to carry we can protect the women of Illinois. Tell them we will no longer tolerate the policing of a law-abiding segment of society trying to exercise its constitutional rights. Yeah. Tell them that we know that politically motivated, failed Chicago gun control policy based upon reduction of legal gun supply only protects criminals from the danger of citizens firing back. 
Chicago promotes gun violence by allowing illegal guns to flood our streets while disarming citizens and denying a fundamental right to self-preservation. I think that you haven't made enough noise. What I want you to do, what I want you to do is visit the organizations that have tables here. You'll find that they have a list of all the state legislators in Illinois. I'd like you to get that list, and I'd like you to think about the legislation that's being sponsored for right to carry. I'd like you to think about the legislation that's sponsored to protect the women of this great state. I'd like you to think about the legislation that will provide an end to violence in the inner city when you have 5% of the population that represents armed victims, then the perpetrators of violence will have to think twice. Make some noise if you think they ought to think twice. I want to tell you that Chicago is a wonderful city, and Chicago is a city that is really too big to fail. Chicago can win this fight, Illinois can win this fight, but it's going to take a push at the local level, it's going to take a push at the state level, and we have to send Chicago's own President Obama a message as well, that in Chicago, we're celebrating Heller Day, and we will not let the powder dry, because we will have freedom in Chicago and throughout America. God bless America. Thank you very much.